uh, animation module, uh, I'll first cover just some basic concepts about animation and uh, about keyframes, how to produce keyframes, um, uh, different ways of uh, organizing your view in the uh, track view and, uh, and the uh, F-curve view. Uh, and then I'll go into uh, how to use joints, uh, and that's one of the things you really use quite a bit in character animation. Uh, and I'll show how to use the joint tool, how to create some IK chains, and uh, some good points for getting the most out of, uh, out of dynamics. Um, in the next chapter, I'll go on to uh, kind of the specifics of how you would use some uh, constraints, uh, such as the parent constraint, the uh, aim constraint, and also how to use the, uh, the spring constraint to get some secondary movement. Uh, also, I'd like to show how to use the morph tag. I mean, you generally, we think of the morph tag as mainly being used for just doing uh, facial uh, uh, poses, but it's also very good for using uh, uh, creating poses of the skeleton. Uh, and then finally, I want to show uh, how to use the character tool that has so many different human and animal rigs. I'll show how to customize them and a couple shortcuts on how to build up your uh, characters pretty quick. And of course, how to use the C motion tool to set up some uh, um, uh, uh, some walk cycles and how to customize those. And then uh, finally, I want to show some kind of non-traditional ways of animation. Uh, uh, by using a espresso and creating some driven animation and also using the cappuccino tool to do some kind of simple mocap and we'll do like a little dinosaur eating some uh, apples. All right, we'll see you.